The Canterbury Earthquake Recovery Authority is demolishing more than 8,000 red zoned homes and is considering how vegetation growth will be controlled once the land is cleared. Sheep grazing has been suggested as a viable option, but Sarah Land Recovery Manager Matthew Clark has told the press the preferred maintenance option was to spray and mow the land to control excess weed and grass growth. However, this option would cost about $2 million a year. Sarah does not yet know how much sheep grazing would cost. Grass would first have to be sowed and this would come at a cost of $7.5 million. Matthew Clark told the press Sarah was still looking at ways to plant grass cheaply, which may be by method of hydro or direct drilling. Sarah's residential red zone report says about 95% of residential red zoned land would eventually be grassed over. Hunter Calder, CTV News.